all in the global marketplace. The expectations of, of sanctions today. So we've arrived on location, guys, and this gut place is a little bit interesting, as you can see. Got a tank in the back. So I want to do a video to talk through PXG retrofitting. So last couple of days, I got in contact with PXG to see if they would help me retrofit my driver. So appointment got booked up in Manchester, which is a good hour and a half away from my house. I thought, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm more confused now <laughs> than I was before I went to the fitting. Let me explain. To give you a little bit of information about what I did and reason I've done it is I've been hitting my backup driver, my two wood, quite well. I mean, it's been spinning around 3,000, so it's been robbing me of a little bit of distance. I've been launching it quite high, but importantly, it's been keeping me in the fairway. What I've wanted to do is get my PXG driver going, but as I've been on the launch one on Tron Trackman, anybody that's seen my video from a couple of weeks ago, we'll see that I was getting the, the low to mid 1000s with that driver. So I was getting some really, really bad knuckly balls. Um, and say so average spin was around 2000. So we just know that's too low. And I'm certainly not launching it high enough to hit the driver any better, you know, to make use of that driver. It's not optimized, it's miles off. So what I thought was, there's no point in persisting with this. I've got to get an appointment, is obviously what I did. I don't want to keep on it in those low hooks, 2000 mid, you know, spin. I mean, if you look at the ping chart, which I have, generally speaking, I should be hitting two and a half thousand revs, uh, 2,300 revs, to make sure I'm getting a good balanced ball flight. Not getting absolutely hammered on distance, but then not being uh, too far back as well. But what was really interesting about the setup was they were using Trackman, but it was with normal range balls, all of them not the best of quality. And I suppose I was on the far right hand side of the range. And I don't know, maybe. I just didn't feel that comfortable. So I went onto the range, he asked me what specs I'd got in my driver and I told him, told him what loft sleeve setting I was in. And, and there was no further questions from that really. Hit, say, three to five shots. A little bit out of the neck. And they really, really were spinny around 3,000. I mean, I'm going to get the numbers up for you so you can compare my session from a week ago and you can compare my session from today. And so the spin difference is massively different. But even when I was striking it out of the middle, still averaging like 3,000 spin. And I just can't help think that those range balls that I was using were just really, really spinny. So I suppose at this point, I'd lost a little bit of confidence in the process and, you know, going there to check my specs. And then we started messing around with some of the settings and to try and get a little bit more ball speed because my ball speed was down massively, like in the 138s, the one, you know, 40, low 140s. Uh, put, the, put the weight into the front of the driver and then I just lost all face control. <laughs> Felt like my swing was all over the shop. And we messed around with the, not, uh, the next settings to try and uh, get the launch a little bit up and then went back to nine flat to stop the hook. But to be honest, wasn't really hooking it in the session. I was probably more hitting like fades and cuts because I just couldn't close down my face angle. I don't know why that was today. So I was obviously swinging a little bit different. Um, my good shots were just a little bit of an open face. Whereas the other day I was pretty square, if not a little bit closed. Um, the big one for me, which I'm just, don't know how I feel about it, to be honest, is I went there to see if I could, if some other shafts, some counterbalance shafts, would help me get a better feeling in the driver. That's kind of what I went down there for. And I did ask PXG if that would be possible. And they told me what, you know, shaft options and costs there would be. It just never got explored. I did want that to happen. I did suggest to the fitter who tried a different shaft and he basically went, nah, pointless, no point in doing that. I was, just, I was really, really disappointed with that. Um, I was obviously disappointed with how I struck the ball, me, but it doesn't change the fact, it doesn't matter what settings I have that driver in. I'm just not happy with the overall balance and the feel of the driver. So, I just feel like it doesn't matter 
where, what, where we go to with it. I just feel like it's a little bit compromised. So I think I'm gonna sell the driver. I'm not sure this is what I wanted from the process. This isn't the PXG experience they want their customers to have. But I left there feeling like I was more lost than I was before I started. What I'll do at this point is just say that the fitter that I had, it was an absolute sound bloke, really knowledgeable guy. Um, he sent me a little report after the fitting, um, say later this evening, and it shows that you know, I have improved my ball speed through the session, through no better club head speed. So um, say the settings that he changed compared to what I went in with, which I thought would be better for me, um, he did actually make an improvement, improved the carry, improved the total distance, improved face control. So that's something worth bearing in mind. I'm still not happy with the club. It's nothing to do with the fitter. Fitter's done his job, hasn't he? He's made my performance better in that short session than it was before. So he's done his job properly. But for me, at the moment, I need to continue on this journey to make sure that I'm happy with the way the club feels. I think I probably need to go and get my club swing weighted. That's something that um, I need to find out a place in the UK that will actually do that for me. Um, and if they will do it for me, they won't rip me off for it. Um, it's something I've never had done, but after watching TXG, I just know it's so important. Anyway, back to my rant about the fitting, me sharing my feelings about um, where my game's gonna go and if this process is beneficial for you. There's one thing I've learned about going through this process and playing golf for all the years that I've played with. If something doesn't feel comfortable, get it changed. Don't persist with it. I've tried to persist with golf clubs for years now. And actually, where do you get yourself? You don't get yourself anywhere, do you? You just get yourself wound up. You don't enjoy the game. And it ultimately just gets a little bit frustrating. So the golden question is, if you've got an opportunity to get your driver checked on a launch monitor, should you? <laughs> Absolutely, yes you should. But it's got to come with the caveat of, if you are checking out your driver, don't just take it on that day, you've got to keep on going back. If my data shows anything, if it does show anything at all, it shows you that the swing can be slightly different on a day to day. If you dig into the data, I was a little bit more down than I was um, the previous week. So that will obviously affect spin. Um, but also different environments, different days can affect how you're swinging. So, I mean, if you take your 2000 to your 3000 spin and wedge it in the middle, it's about right, isn't it? So I guess some days my spin might be right, my launch might be right. But as it currently stands, I don't feel comfortable with the driver. I am going to go and shift it on, but where we go next in the process, I'm not so sure. I'm going to use my backup driver for now, which we know is a little bit too much spin for me. Uh, lacking a bit of uh, firepower, shall we say. But, at least it's a starting point. I'm making a promise to myself that I'm not going to persist with golf equipment that doesn't suit me anymore. Not doing it. So part of the journey is making sure the equipment is correct. PXG driver is going to go for sale and we'll see where we get to. For anybody recently joined the channel, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting and uh, thank you for following the journey. As always, if you get into the comments down below, if you've got any similar experiences of going to fit in and being underwhelmed, possibly overwhelmed, I mean, it might be that you've got so much information, you just don't know where to begin. You don't know if it's a good idea to spend £500 on a driver. Let me know. I mean, for me, if I had £500 on a driver, I'd be going for a full-on fitting down at the Belfry um, in Birmingham Way. I'll be getting on their mat system where it tracks you with silver dots so you can track the swing. And we're doing a proper, proper job of it. But for now, we're going to keep on trying to find a bargain and keep on trial and error with different drivers until we have that opportunity. Thanks for dropping by the channel, guys. Really appreciate it. See ya.